about to fill the PC here with liquid graphene. Yes, this is very black fluid, and it actually does improve temperatures by a little bit. This is coffee. Very hot. And so we're trying to do this in a nice, efficient manner. Uh, I do have a couple of bottles, but for water cooling, a lot of times you can reuse the fluid. So I'm going to basically check to make sure that this looks good, and it does. So there's no reason why we can't reuse this. It's, about, it's barely a year old, and liquid graphene is uh, very viscous. So I think we're going to be good to go. It's not like a, a solid type of fluid that you may want to replace every, say, three months. I think that's good. Careful, because it is black and it does get everywhere. And let's proceed to filling the loop. And now after some alterations, what we're doing is filling the pump right here. Pump rest combo. So this is the Go Chiller Fluid. Liquid graphene. I did a previous review video showing how it actually did reduce temperatures by about two to three degrees Celsius. And we will definitely have to fill this bottle up again. So let's turn on the pump. And there we go. And you always want to make sure you're turning the pump off before the fluid gets too low because we do not want any air in the pump. And you notice that goes very quickly. So this is where it help, it's helpful to have a much taller reservoir so that you're actually having to do this less. And here we go. Right. Looking good. Looking very good. And a best practice is to leave this ajar for a little while to allow a lot of the excess air and stuff to uh, get out and we can top it off as we need to. But what about leaks, you ask? Well, this is ZMT tubing, uh, zero maintenance tubing, and soft tubing is much easier to basically manage any leaks than hardline tubing. It's very tough. When, you, when it's on there, you know it's on there. With that being said, if you're new to custom water cooling, I would definitely put paper towels around every single potential point of failure. So that was like a couple of potential points of failure here, there, 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 like everywhere. Anywhere where there's a joint like this, um, an opening here as well, like even it could leak here. You just want to make sure that that's all nice and secure when you are putting the loop together. And then double check. So now I'm just going to do a little bit of cable management, put a few things together like the front fans, and then we'll turn the system on.